I'm now going to show you the global diary inside Darwin. Here on the left hand side you'll have a quick view for today. If we double click into the diary you can see each other's appointments back to back. They'll be also shown with a different avatar. We also have a one day view. Here you'll be able to view each other's appointments side by side for that day. We will also have a week's view and a 31 day calendar view. If we click here we can also select whose diary in our team that we'd like to see side by side. Simply to add in an appointment I would double click into the diary. Again it will bring up an appointment as it would normally do in Outlook. So here we can select if we've arranged our first interview. We can put in the timings of our interview and set ourselves a reminder and save and close. This is now appear up in the global diary. Underneath the global diary you'll be able to add in to do's so you'll have a, a long list of, of what you need to get done for that day. What we can actually do is associate our tasks with a particular record. If I've been speaking to my client here and I want to associate this with a task, I can click here to add a new task. Here we may have arranged an on-site meeting. I can then put in the detail of that particular meeting and you can set the priority, what type of follow-up you require and if you want to you can actually assign a task to a colleague and it will appear in their to-do list. We can add in a free text if need be and click on OK. When we've actually got a task to complete we click here and it will then take us directly through to the record that it's associated with. Your appointments will show up here. This is our appointment for the day and it will also take us through to our global diary. Underneath here you'll be viewing your Outlook emails coming into Darwin. If I want to select my emails at any one time I can click here. This is now taking me through to our inbox view. Inside here Darwin will automatically recognise and import an email to anybody that's already in the system and it will mark it with a form icon with a green tick. If the candidate isn't already on the database we can actually attach the email to a record and here I can actually select a candidate record for example and click on attach. That email will automatically be attached if they're not already stored inside the database. If I want to parse a CV inside Darwin, I can do this directly from an email. When a candidate is sent through their CV to you, you can select the CV and click on Parse CV. This has automatically created a new record for you and in yellow this is the information that it's now pulled through. You can now go away and fill in the relevant information and save your changes. You will also have the option to parse a CV directly from a candidate record. This will update any information that you may already have stored. I'm just going to show you if we right click you will also have the option to parse the CV this way.